Hi guys, welcome back. We'll have a look at Me and the Buds by Duster. And uh, I'll break down the whole song from the beginning, the start to the end of the song. I'll be breaking down each and every guitar part which we have for this song. So uh, let's get started. Uh, I have covered Inside Out by Duster previously. So this is the second song which I'm covering by Duster. Let me know what the third song should be. Now, uh, it's actually the intro is played with that bar. I don't know what it's actually called. I forgot the name. It's played with that bar, which is basically one over here. Then you just play, do the slide thing, mainly on those guitar, which has strings right up over here. So we can get one and do it. And if you don't have and still want to like kind of imitate the sound, you can uh, do it with the keyboard like I did right now. So I'll be breaking that part too. Firstly, let's talk about the tuning, uh, which is not in the standard. Uh, it's down quarter step, which means every string should be tuned slightly near to its flat, not completely, slightly. So I'll say open guitar tuner, then go open it, guitar mode, and then reach minus five, which is left side. It shows that numbers plus five, minus five, minus five is towards the flat side. Minus five should be there for every string. And that's what you need for this song minus five for every string a little bit of a flat intended guitar tone now i'll break down the whole intro thing i won't use a capo right now just to avoid any kind of confusion i won't play like this now with the capo i use this part i put it on top of the string i don't press the string i just put it on the top of the string so it should be like just on top i'll get the sound Sounds very cringy, I know, uh, but now uh, you can even play the notes like this, which is perfectly fine. So uh, I'll do a slide from a seven to six, then back to seven on the G string. And this is a slide. You plug the note once, and then you hand it over here and do this. See that? Then on the high E string, I play ten nine. And then on the B string, try to do it in a single stroke. I'm going 10, 9, 10, 12, then 9. Then I'll do this. Do the same thing, ten, seven, six, seven. I'll do a slide from five to seven on the D string, then seven to nine on the D string, then nine to eleven on the D string. All the slides, so we got. Boom. And then on the D string, you'll play seven, nine, then six. So we got. So that's it for the intro, we'll now move on to the main riff of the song. It's a little bit tricky. We have this shape. I would like to use my fingers. You can use a plectrum. No, no, let's go with plectrum. That will be better. So plectrum for my right hand. Middle finger on top string 5th fret. Pinky on A string 7th fret. My D string will be on the 6th fret of... I'm sorry. My ring finger will be on the D string 6th fret. My index will be on the G string 4th fret. So that's a very complicated shape, right? The sound is very simple. So I'll hit the top string, then the E string. Then I'll hit like an upstroke which plucks the G and D together. So, see that? Then I'll hit the E string 7th fret. Now I'll lift off my ring finger and I'll put my index on the D string 4th fret. I'll hit the D string and then I'll play E5, A7. 
so this part is really bit different not like the other song so we have so we got one two up a d4 e5 e7 one down sorry and then you have the shape which is like this kind of the same shape you lift off your ring and pinky so you got your index finger bar on the fourth fret of adg your top string will be fifth fret by your middle finger hit uh, so you'll start off hitting the e string and then the e string then you'll strum the d and g string like we played over here like we strummed over here this part will strum it again then i'll hit the d string sixth fret and after that i'll play e5 then e7 so we got same thing one two up down boom, boom, boom. so first shape sorry then the third and the fourth shape it will be like this you take your index a bar the adg string listen carefully bar the adg string right your pinky should be on the d string seventh fret you will hit the a string fourth fret g string fourth fret d string seventh fret e string fourth fret d g string fourth fret now ring finger on d string sixth fret so we got and now your ring finger will be on the sixth fret of the g your pinky should be on the seventh fret of the d your index should be on the e string fourth fret so it's a little bit stretchy now do the same thing a d g so a d g no that's wrong a g d a g d and then again a4 g4 then d6 so uh, the last chord we had a4 i'm just recapping the whole thing a4 d4 sorry i'm so sorry a4 g4 d7 a4 g4 d6 a4 g6 d7 a4 g4 d6 so we got when you put it all together it sounds like this goes couple of time then we come to the outro of the song for the outro what we do is we hold the b5 power chord second fret on a top string muted with your index and the index also mute all the other string which is beneath the a string which is d g b e see that so this part is very efficient in barring as well as muting the strings your ring finger or your pinky should be on the e string fourth fret and that's it Three down stroke. One, two, three. So, and then you will have middle finger on second fret of D, index finger on second fret of E. Open A. I'll simply play E A D. Again. Then you go to index second fret of A. Open E string. Still having second fret on D, like a E minor chord. E A D. E A D. So we got back to B five and I'll go for seven down stroke and then end the song with a E major chord. It stops string muted open A by index bar the second frets of D G B high E string muted. 
So let's play the outro together. B5, three down stroke. Then two, oh, two, two, oh, two, oh, two, two, oh, two, two, back to B5. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we got three sections for the song. We have that weird intro, which is played with a bar, which we don't have at the moment, right? Then we have the main riff. Even when you have the intro, the main riff actually goes on. It doesn't stop. And then we have the outro, which is completely a separate section. There you have it guys, that's how you play the song. I hope the video helped you out. For more easy, acquitted lessons like this, make sure you guys subscribe. If you wanna stay, updated with me with the hottest music the newest songs out there i'm like very quick with the guitar lessons i even make tutorials even before the actual song comes out so i think that deserves kind of a raise and that raise should be a subscribe so i'll see you guys back in the next video with me and i love if you guys subscribe until then bye